Hello everyone. In today's session, I'm going to give you the easy explanation of Oliver Asks for More written by Charles Dickens. This story, Oliver Asks for More, is taken from his novel Oliver Twist. I'm sure most of you must have read this novel. In Oliver Twist, Charles Dickens uses shocking realism and biting satire in order to present a picture of an England suffering the effects of industrialization in the 19th century. Charles Dickens was an English writer and social critique. This term social critique is significant. Charles Dickens criticized institutional abuse and child labor. In fact, Oliver Twist is his first real social novel where he focused on the harm public institutions do to the poor through the story of a young orphan, Oliver. Who is the protagonist of this story? It is Oliver. Oliver ek anath tha. Na koi ma, na koi baap dunia mein bilkul akela. And his companions, Oliver ke saath, aur dusre bachche bhi the jo anath the. They lived in the workhouse. They were ill-treated and starved in the workhouse. Workhouse mein unhe thik se khana nahi diya jata tha aur unhe ill-treat kiya jata tha. Unke saath thik se vivahar nahi kiya jata tha. Unhe torture kiya jata tha. And they led a miserable life of deprivation. They were deprived of a basic necessity like food. One day, a tall boy announced that he would eat the boy who slept next to him unless he was given extra gruel. This shows the hunger of these boys. These boys were perpetually hungry. Wo bhooke the. Aur isi liye, ek din, ek tall boy, usne kya announce kya? Wo dusre, ek ladke ko wo kha jayega. Agar usse extra gruel. What is the meaning of gruel? Watery thin soup nahi mila. A council, a meeting was held and it was decided that Oliver should ask the master for more. What is the meaning of more? More means more gruel. Oliver Twist was then bound into apprenticeship with an undertaker, coffin maker. Oliver ko us workhouse se dusra jaga bhej diya gaya. Aur Oliver ek undertaker ka apprentice ban ke rahe gaya. Oliver Twist exposes the cruel treatment of the many orphans in London in the mid-19th century, industrial age, England. So this is the first theme of this story. And the second theme is poverty. And the third theme is lack of motherly love and affection, the life of an orphan. This excerpt reflects Dickens' own experiences and difficult childhood. Charles Dickens' ka childhood bhi koi asan childhood nahi tha. And therefore, in this story, in this novel, Oliver Twist, we find autobiographical elements. This novel was written in protest to the Poor Law Amendment Act of 1834. Among other buildings in a town in England, there was a house for poor people who had no money and nowhere to live. This was called the workhouse. Immediately, Charles Dickens introduces the theme of poverty. These people were very poor. In logo ke paas paisa nahi tha, apna ghar nahi tha. Isi liye ye log Workhouse mein rehte the. These people were needy, underprivileged and shelterless. Is story ka jo protagonist hai Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist ka janam bhi ek workhouse mein hi hua tha. He was born in a workhouse and what was the condition of his mother? His mother, a young woman, lay ill in bed. Wo bahut bimar thi. A doctor and an old woman stood by her side. She lifted her head from the pillow. Wo kuch kehna chaati thi. Let me see the child and die, she said. She is convinced of her death. Therefore, these are the last words of the dying mother. This is the last wish of the dying mother. This is indeed a very painful moment and the readers are touched with pity. The moment when the mother is parting from her little child. In fact, the newborn baby. Let me see the child and die. Wo ek bar 
अंतिम बार अपने बच्चे से मिलना चाहती थी अपने बच्चे को देखना चाहती थी ओ यू मसेंट टॉक अबाउट डाइंग येट से डॉक्टर एनकरेजिंगली ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू री एश्योर हिज पेशेंट दैट एवरीथिंग वॉज गोइंग टू बी फाइन एक डॉक्टर का तो यही काम है ना अपने पेशेंट को हौसला देना और ये डॉक्टर भी ठीक वही कर रहा था नो डियर सेट द ओल्ड वुमन दिस ओल्ड वुमन टू वॉज वेरी काइंड यू आर टू यंग टू डाई तुम तुम्हें कुछ नहीं होगा तुम बहुत यंग हो अभी तुम ठीक हो जाओगी बहुत जल्दी She was also trying to console the dying woman and they knew both of them the doctor and the old woman knew that the young woman was going to die a premature death the young woman shook her head this shows that she was convinced of her death wo janti thi bahut jald wo is duniya ko chhod ke chali jayegi and held out her hand towards the child This gesture shows motherly love, affection and tenderness. The doctor put the child in her arms. Doctor ne use nirash nahi kiya. She pressed her cold white lips to its face. Cold white lips, cold because she is going to die and she is very very weak. White lips, pale lips to its face. This shows human touch. This shows intimacy, closeness between the mother and the child, and then fell back. वो मर चुकी थी. She is dead. She has died a premature death, said the doctor. Yes, poor dear, said the old woman as she took the child away from its dead mother. Poor dear. She was a good-looking girl, uh, said the doctor as he put on his hat and gloves. Where did she come from? वो कहाँ से आई थी? She was brought here last night. said the old woman she was lying in the street very important she was lying in the street wo raste pe padi thi she had walked a long way and her shoes had holes in them she was tired she was exhausted and she had walked a long way and her shoes had holes in them nobody knows koi nahi janta wo kahan se aayi aur wo kahan ja rahi thi nobody knows where she came from or where she was going to who was she what was her identity this was still undisclosed the doctor raised the dead woman's left hand the usual story he said i see that she has no ring on her finger she wasn't married same kahani this woman was going to be an unmarried mother bin bihai ma banne wali thi he went home to his dinner the old woman sat down on a chair in front of the fire and began to dress the baby she dressed him in the very old clothes so poverty in the very old clothes used for babies who were born in the workhouse the child was an orphan born into a world which had no love or pity for him oliver बिल्कुल अकेला था ओलिवर को कोई प्यार नहीं करेगा उस पर किसी को दया नहीं आएगा सो ओलिवर वॉज गोइंग टू लीड अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट लाइफ ऑल अलोन इन दिस वाइड वर्ल्ड द मिजरेबल कंडीशन ऑफ दिस बॉय नो वन वॉज एबल टू डिस्कवर हु द बेबीज फादर वॉज और वॉट हिज मदर्स नेम वॉज सो ओलिवर्स रियल आइडेंटिटी वॉज नेवर नोन टू एनीबडी Mr Bumble an important officer in the town Mr Bumble kon the another character he was an important officer in the town invented a name for the baby he chose the name Oliver Twist we name the new babies here in the workhouse in order from a to z he explained when people asked i name the last one swivel this one is twist the next one will be unwin Mr Bumble names these children out of not out of love but this is just a formality at the age of 9 oliver was a pale so this was the birth of oliver twist and his life after his birth and now he has attained the age of 9 wo 9 saal ka ek ladka hai Oliver was a pale thin child wo dubla patla sa ek pale child hai 9 saal ke umar mein he and the other workhouse boys never had enough warm clothes or food they were ill fed and they were underdressed they did not have enough warm clothes 
उन्हें ठीक से खाना नहीं दिया जाता था और उन्हें ठीक से गर्म कपड़े भी नहीं मिलता था दे वर गिवेन ओनली थ्री मील्स ऑफ थिन वॉटरी सूप एवरी डे दिस वॉज द मेन्यू थ्री मील्स एंड दैट टू थिन सूप On Sundays they had a small piece of bread. The word small is significant. This shows that they were hungry. They were not gi- uh, given adequate food. Bachcho ko growing boys ko पौष्टिक आहार मिलना बहुत जरूरी है मगर ओलिवर और दूसरे अनाथ बच्चों को इन वर्क हाउसेज में ठीक से खाना नहीं मिलता था सो दिस इज चाइल्ड अब्यूज एंड दिस इज इंस्टीट्यूशनल अब्यूज दोज हु वर पुअर दे लेड वेरी मिजरेबल लाइफ इन द वर्क हाउस दे वर टॉर्चर दे वर मेड टू वर्क दे वर नॉट फेड प्रॉपरली दे वर फेड इन अ बिग हॉल A large pot stood at one end of the room. There was a large pot, room के किनारे में, and the soup was served by the master. The master used to supervise this process. Each boy had one small bowl of soup and no more. Again, the stress is on the word small. Small piece of bread, small bowl of soup. तो इन लड़कों को ठीक से खाना नहीं मिलता था और उन्हें शक्ति कहां से मिलेगा छोटे से एक कटोरी में सूप मिलता था और संडेज को एक स्मॉल पीस ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा ब्रेड मिलता था द बोल्स नेवर नीडेड वॉशिंग बिकॉज द बॉयज क्लीन देम विथ द स्पून अंटिल दे शोर दे वॉज सो हंग्री दैट एज सून एज दे गॉट देर सूप दे हैड देर सूप एंड दे यूज टू क्लीन the bowls with their spoons until they shown this shows that they still remain hungry even after having the soup unka pet nahi bharta tha aur isiliye wo chaat chaat ke katori ko chamkeela bana dete the one day oliver and his friends decided that one boy would walk up to the master after supper and ask for more soup in the title we have oliver asks for more so what is more more soup more gruel oliver was chosen oliver ko ek responsibility diya gaya oliver master ke paas jayega aur more soup wo kya master ko kahega master ji mujhe more soup dijiye and what will be the consequence of this action we will see this now In the evening the boys sat down at the tables roz ki tarah the boys sat down at the tables the master stood by the pot supervising the whole process and the soup was served it disappeared quickly again shows that these boys remain hungry whenever they get food they have their food really quickly the boys whispered and made signs to oliver boys ये लड़के अपने आप फुसफुसा रहे थे और ओलिवर को इशारों इशारों में क्या समझा रहे थे जाओ ओलिवर मास्टर से थोड़ा और सूप लेके आओ ही स्टूड अप फ्रॉम द टेबल एंड वेंट टू द मास्टर विथ हिज बोल एंड स्पून इन हिज हैंड्स प्लीज सर दिस इज अ रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सर ही सेड आई वॉन्ट सम मोर सो मोर मोर सूप इन ऑर्डर टू सेशिएट देर हंगर The master was a fat healthy man but he went very pale this is ironical bachche workhouse mein pale thin the aur ye master fat healthy man tha what does this show this shows that this master ate sumptuous meals he ate delicious meals and the boys on the other hand were ill fed this is the irony he went very pale his reaction He looked with surprise at the small boy. Oliver ye kya keh raha hai? What? said the master at last in a quiet voice. Please sir repeated Oliver, I want some more. The master hit Oliver with his spoon. This was a punishment meted out to him by the master. Then seized him, caught him, held him firmly and cried for help. वो किसको बुला रहा था मिस्टर बम्बल को एंड मिस्टर बम्बल रश्ड इन टू द रूम वो जल्दी जल्दी रूम के अंदर आए 
एंड द मास्टर टोल्ड हिम वॉट ऑलिवर हैड सेड मिस्टर बम्बल देखो ऑलिवर क्या कह रहा है ऑलिवर को ज्यादा सूप चाहिए अब बताओ ही आस्क फॉर मोर मिस्टर बम्बल टू वॉज सरप्राइज एंड शॉक्ट एज वेल मिस्टर बम्बल क्राइड आई के नॉट बिलीव इट अनइमेजिनेबल मुझे तो ये यकीन नहीं हो रहा है वन डे दे विल हैंग द बॉय This is an example of exaggeration. The figure of speech used here is hyperbole. Soup mangne se will Oliver be hanged one day? Is this even possible? He took Oliver away and shut him in a dark room. Again, Mr. Bumble also punished Oliver the impact of Oliver's request. He took Oliver away and shut him in a dark room. A dark room. में ओलिवर को बंद कर दिया गया बाय मिस्टर बम्बल द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग अ नोटिस अपियर ऑन द वर्क हाउस गेट फाइव पाउंड वर ऑफर टू एनीबडी हु वुड टेक ओलिवर ट्विस्ट मिस्टर बम्बल ने क्या डिसाइड किया ओलिवर ट्विस्ट को अब इस वर्क हाउस में नहीं रखा जाएगा अगर ओलिवर यहां पे रखा ओलिवर को यहां पे रखा गया तो दूसरे बच्चे भी ओलिवर की तरह बगावत पे उतर आएंगे Oliver was a prisoner in that cold dark room for a whole week for 7 days. Every morning he was taken outside to wash and Mr Bumble beat him with a stick. Child abuse, physical abuse. Then he was taken into the large hall where the boys had their soup. Sab ke samne Oliver ko mara jata tha kyunki Mr Bumble सबको सिखाना चाहते थे देखो तुम लोग ओलिवर के जैसे बिहेव नहीं करोगे तुम लोग अगर ज्यादा तुमने कुछ मांग लिया तो तुम्हारे साथ भी ये सेम हर्ष होगा मिस्टर मम्बल बैठेम इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीबडी ही वॉन्टेड टू टीच एवरी वन अ लेसन दिस वॉज अ वार्निंग ही क्राइड ऑल डे वॉट वॉज द कंडीशन ऑफ ओलिवर ही वॉज ऑल अलोन ही वॉज हेल्पलेस ही वॉज बीट इन बैडली एंड ही क्राइड ऑल डे ही वॉज इन पेन When night came he tried to sleep but he was cold he did not have warm clothes he did not have blanket he was lonely his friends were not allowed to meet him and he was scared he was frightened but one day outside the high workhouse gate mr bumble met mr sourberry another character description of mr sourberry mr sourberry was a tall thin man who wore black clothes and made coffins black The color black is associated with death and mourning and since Mr Sourberry was a coffin maker he was dressed in black clothes many of his coffins were for the poor people who died in the workhouse workhouse mein poor people jaldi jaldi mar jate the kyunki उनको बहुत टॉर्चर किया jata tha unhe theek se khana nahi milta tha isliye wo mar jate the and mr sourberry used to prepare coffins for them i have prepared the coffins for two women who died last night he said to mr bumble good said mr bumble well done you will be a rich man one day mr sourberry just imagine the heartlessness and the cruelty of mr bumble the death of two women this incident is really painful and sad but here mr bumble is joking about it theek hai mr sourberry tum bahut rich ho jaoge itna profit tum kamaoge ki tum bahut jald aur tarakki karoge do you know anybody who wants a boy who is this boy this refers to oliver and 5 pounds he raised his stick and pointed to the notice on the gate so here we come to the end of today's session